Just that I appreciate the effort you put in. You've given most cyber psychos a second chance. And I know it wasn't easy. Some of the cyber psychotic have started therapy. Even if they can't be saved, at least maybe we'll learn more about the disease. Because I refuse to believe it's just some kind of cyberware overload. Who knows? Maybe I'll learn enough to write a piece on it. But anyway, the reward is yours. Thanks. Time. Oh, come on. Leave him alone, cabrones. Oh, Duty calls. Got these assholes how to behave in my bar. Hey, Kirk. Been a while. V? Holy shit. Barely recognize you. I see you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh. Well, you know me? I'm old fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on. Sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen, job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V, who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Sounds too good to be true. Oh, fuck it. It's worth a shot, at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later. Back off! Ain't door biz here! You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. Chew, fuck off! Or I implant my blade in your ribs! Really? Wonder what Mama Wells would say. What she'd do when she sees you two gonks fucking up her joint. My bet is she'd whip out her shotgun, blast your heads off. Hey, right, come on, baby. That was Don't work out. Yo, fuck you! Carajo, fucking punk! What, what just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me?
Because you would have caught a beating. Or worse. This fucking town, these people, just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh, the bartender got the rest. Circling in like sharks on a scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in me. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you, then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. A break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I am not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Base on it. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Why you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how he feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things. But with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like at this city. Wait. Uh, but today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Okay, fine. I'm in. You're my hero, V. It means a lot to me. CD Bar's betrayal of beguiling woman. Sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story. Are you about done? I'm trying to focus.
Hey, V! Over here, Chum. Sup, Kirk. Happy to see you too, but how about let's not broadcast it, hmm? Right, right, sorry. No need for a scene. Okay, see that garage right there? Van's inside. You go in, grab the tech, get out, we split it 50-50. Clear? Okay, in I go. Head on a swivel, right? You got it. are there. What the, what the fuck is this? Clothes? Mm-hmm. Cheap knockoffs, too. Had real great intel, that Kirk. Like always, actually. But hey, could strike out on your own. Now, firefight. Wow, the fun's just getting started. Have a good time, V. Oh, fucking fuck. Lifetime of hustling. Nice speech. Remind me not to invite you to my funeral. How about him? Gonna tell anyone to scrape him up and put him under? No one to tell.
arrived on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. It was her, Stop the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I found her. Dream of the day, and Harry to put a fucking plug in it. Looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up. I'm a fucking puke. Narrate that. Seriously, what, what did I ever do to you? The dame disappeared into the guts of a building, ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. Ugh. Hey, you! A good thing what I'm are you dying. doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. Told you to make sure nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See who's Wait. right. No! It's... it's not like that. I... I can explain. Go on, then. Let's hear it. Okay. For, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. A specialist in this dump. Look, I know. I, I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. Uh, what about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich basic bitch everyone's got their own secret something they want to forget or leave behind them i i had a lot of them and i can't share them with anyone not even my own husband i know i should have told pepe about all this but there was never a good time and and now that i'm expecting again it oh it it wasn't it wasn't planned please uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. 
hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife. Went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least, not in the way you think. Huh? What way, then? She was at a rip roost getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes... It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So... My son... That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes. Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but... The woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just... Live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See? That's more like it. Finally making some sense.
ぞ。Jacob got his eye back, so I'm closing this gig. But B, we both know that wasn't top quality work. Maybe try a little harder next time, okay? Gig closed, and thanks. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Not so fast, little man. No weapons allowed. We're running a civilized operation. See, wasn't so hard. Welcome to everything.
let those pricks twist your... Welcome. Please go right ahead. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking talking about. Get in, install what you need, get out like it ain't no thing. Gig is closed. <laughs> Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to him just in case. You need him more than me. I'm not taking him all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing it any. That's what friends are for. 